Uh, I miss the good old days. I really did miss the good old days. Yes, even though many new games are coming, but there are times where I know some of you, even myself, we miss the good old days of video game where it's just, you know, video games. Where everyone can play. There was no restriction, at least until the 1990s or late 1990s. But overall, I think gaming used to be fun back then. Like Tetris, Super Mario. Honestly, I am a master of Super Mario Bros. My family would say when it comes to Super Mario Bros, I am definitely the best. Despite that, there are some games that, well, let's just say... A good game, like well, Super Mario's Legacy is still continue on, including Paper Mario, which I don't want to get in that, even though it is now woke for Nintendo, but sometimes some of you want to remember the good old days where Nintendo was just Nintendo. How about we react to this trailer, the one thing that I need to tell you is Tetris Forever. And for the Tetris, before we react to this, I just want to say that Tetris is actually my grandfather's favorite game. I think it was my grandfather or grandmother, I don't know. He likes that game. To my elder sister who likes Tetris. But my grandfather is the master. Twelve shapes, it's too much to remember. I decided that I should downsize it. So if I introduce flipping, then I have just five pieces. That's how Tetris was born. Well, I didn't have the rights. I said, I'm going to go to the Soviet Union and get those rights. I believe that Tetris will be here forever. I think I have one of the greatest games in the history of computer games. Alexi really created the perfect game. Two weeks in a row, I did nothing but play. Play Tetris. Play Tetris. My friends. Tetris is inclusive and it appeals to everyone. Every place was sold out and every place was clamoring for more. We're always trying to figure out what is the best way to keep the core game of Tetris. Nobody thought this game was going to last forever. From 1984, that is the height of the Cold War. Back then, there was no Russian Federation. That was the Soviet Union. This was like, I believe this is a uh, 40 years. Wow, 40 year anniversary. Hoorah! Honestly, first off, I had to say congratulations to the Russians. Despite how many people in the US, mainly for you, you should give kudos to the Russians. They are the ones that invented Tetris. Because right now, people who want to make that game, they want to have the rights, they want to keep it forever, or perhaps they want to keep the legacy forever, immediately went to the Soviet Union. You guys see the trailer I, sh I showed you. Like I said, Tetris, it's timeless. Despite being just endless games, cannot be beaten. Well, except until a 14-year-old did it, which don't ask how. But it also when a host or perhaps a news host immediately berated the kid. I'm pretty much certain that person is now gone, no longer there. Tetris, whether people like it or not, or want to deny it, it is the one that's going to be forever. Take a look, it, that person who I think is a developer, he immediately went to the Soviet Union in order to secure those rights. I mean, it's dangerous. I mean, that's what, 1984. I mean, I wasn't even born by that time. It's very dangerous for anybody. I think the tourism sector in the Soviet Union is open during the 1980s. I could be wrong. If my friends in Russia who are watching this, let me know in the comments. Were any tourism during the 1980s in the Soviet era? Let me know. Overall, sometimes despite newer games coming in, I know some gamers, they can't deny they miss the good old days where video games just be video games that meant for escapism, not what, political propaganda, social pandering, or any woke stuff. It's just good games. Ah, I, yep, I do miss the good old days.
go, leave a like and subscribe. If you want any woke or anti-woke detected, visit my second channel up here or link in the description.